Welcome to Center for Community Justice. 40 years ago, a group of young men and women looked around at the strife, violence, social injustice, and the effects of poverty in Elkhart County, Indiana, and did something about it. Our story is multifaceted and complex, embracing success and failure, and even the losing of our way as we work to make Elkhart a better place. Today, we are still here advocating for our community against the systemic influences that continue to traumatize generations of families. And along comes the COVID-19 pandemic and we find ourselves in a crucible, a conflagration of events, of fear, elections, anger, and the trauma of seeing it over and over in the mainstream media and social media. In our crucible are severe tests of our character, severe tests of our consciences as a nation and the community of Elkhart, Indiana. In fact, the force of this crucible is crushing our minds, our intellect, our emotions, and the way we respond to being alive. But there is good news. Today, I'm inviting you to sign up for Communities in the Crucible, Tools for Living United Today. This online event offers insights and processes that can and are already addressing the most pressing needs of our community as we live through the challenges of a public health crisis, an economic crisis, that has and continues to uncover the deep racial and economic injustices present within the systems embedded in our culture. Our nation will have just emerged from one of the most contentious presidential elections of modern times. We at CCJ are preparing to share solutions and processes that can lead to healing and hope as we confront the decisions of our past while forging a collective new story. If you're feeling overwhelmed or even fearful, Here's an opportunity to learn about a series of tools that can help you heal your community. Join us as we learn from Communities in the Crucible, tools for living united today. Our keynote speaker, Ashley George, will unveil insightful perspectives on where we are as a community, even as she outlines some of the restorative practices and processes that can deliver our communities from the crucibles from which we find ourselves. I look forward to seeing you on the other side.